Hi everyone, this is Terry. Today I want to talk to you about BES4 Power Pack 3 templates. Power Packs are a way of enhancing your base BES4 software. And like I've mentioned on other videos, you do not have to buy the Power Packs in, in a particular order. You can buy Power Pack 3 first, you could skip two, or you can be like me and purchase them all. This is being recorded as of April 2020, and at this time there are three power packs available for BES4. Before we begin, I'd like to take a moment to thank my sponsor. Moore Sewing Center is located in Southern California. Due to the COVID-19 virus, Moore Sewing Centers have been closed. George Moore has opened up his warehouse, however, so he can sell to his customers. He's doing this by way of Facebook. So make sure that you watch Facebook Live so you can catch some of these sales. Now let's go back to BES4. With BES4 Power Pack 3 templates, you get literally hundreds of design combinations. There are built-in themes for babies, birthdays, sewing and crafts, teens and tweens, holidays, seasons, sports, weddings, and more. You can unlock the template design elements and personalize it to your own layout. And you have the flexibility to change the colors, change the, the size of the fonts, and the type of the font. So in the first example, I have a birth announcement. And this is like Subway Art. The nice thing about this is you can modify certain things. So you'll see the name, the date, the weight, You'll see these embroidered designs, they're called elements or decorations, and I can change so much of this. So I'll show you that in just a moment. The next one I want to show you is a, a label that you can create. So this would be like a quilt label that I've made, uh, where I made a quilt for someone, and I can customize this. In the next example, there is a template for a sports team. I've changed it to change the name of the team that's on the template to Centerville. I've changed the mascot and I've changed the team name. And the next example, I created what are called multiples. So it starts out as love to play soccer. But what I did is I saved this as if it was for a team, so I can create multiples and do all my work at once. Let's see how this is done. So we'll go into templates, and for the first one, let's go to babies. And since we saw that one announcement, let's look at another one. And we'll find one that has a, a name on it, so we'll choose this particular one from the nursery of. So let's just say that this is from the nursery of Baby Smith. So we'll type M-I-T-H. You'll notice that I double clicked on that box so that it opened up. I can change the font name if I want or the font type. I can also replace the elements. So let's say that I don't want this little llama. I can choose replace. And let's say that I want to have the elephant instead. I can choose to change it to the elephant. If I want to change the colors, I can do so by choosing the color that I want to replace. Let's say that I want to change this flesh tone here. I'll choose replace and let's change that to a brown and choose import. I think that looks better. Now I'll choose OK. It opened it up on this design. Let me copy that. So I'll just go up here and actually choose cut. I'll choose file new. And now I'll paste. And you'll see the design. All right, let's look at another one. We'll go ahead and choose file new. We'll go to templates. And in this case, let's go to sports. And let's find this wildcat that I was telling you about. So we'll choose 
another design. And instead of Libertyville, we're going to, to call this the Centerville Wildcats. So we'll type Centerville and we'll leave the rest of it as it is. We'll leave the text as it is, but we can change it and change the height of it. Now, the Centerville High School's mascot is not the Wildcats, so I want to change that. And to change it, I'll go to the decoration and choose replace. The Centerville High School is an eagle, so I'll choose the eagle and I'll choose OK. Now what I want to do is to change the word wildcat. So I'll go back up here to the top. I click till I have wildcat selected and I'll type eagles. All right, that should take care of it. You notice how nice the design is. And if you wanted to create a patch for, for instance, a jacket, you could do that. We'll try out one more. We'll go into templates, and this time we'll choose another design. So let's go to Super Kids, and let's look at this, and it says Super Bang Monica. Well, let's say that we are making this for several children, and what we want to do is we want to have what is called multiples. You'll see that it has super and the, as the font, but you can go in and change the decoration. So you have bam, bang, let's choose pow. And let's say that instead of super pow Monica, we want to change the name and we want to create multiples. Well, we can type the first name, and let's say the first name is Monique. We'll go to multiples, and you'll notice Monique's name there. We'll choose plus, and we'll type the next person, and choose plus, and type the next person, and choose OK. Now, if you decide that you want to change some of the colors in this design, let's say that you want to change the background color that is this purple and replace it with a different color that's more like a pink, you can do that. We have Barbara, we have Janet, and we have Monique. I hope this gives you an idea of some of the features that are built into the Power Pack with Template. It's just loaded with lots of designs and fun that you can modify to suit your own needs. My name is Terry Maffitt. You can join me on Facebook and just stitching with the Brother Luminaire. Thank you so much for your time.